Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. So in today's video, I wanna bring back the theme of reacting. So I'm gonna be reacting to some curly hair videos. In this series, I react to all kinds of curly hair videos, curly hair tutorials, curly hair routines, viral curly hair TikTok hairstyle tutorials, all like that, all kinds of stuff, and those celebrity curly hair care routines as well. So this is gonna be a celebrity curly hair routine from Harper's Bazaar, and I just wanna react and give my honest opinion on it. These videos are never intended to throw shade they're always intended to just be educational and hopefully entertaining as well and that is all that I'm here for guys fun fact I actually can't monetize these videos because uh, Harper's Bazaar actually copyrights all of their content which is fair enough oh my god they've done JB from GOT7 a week ago and Jen M did one that's cool. If you like this series and you like my curly hair reactions videos, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already and let's get into the reaction. Okay, so this is gonna be Logan Browning's Natural Curls Hair Tutorial with How I Do Harper's Bazaar. She is an actress and she's best known for starring as Samantha White in Dear White People. Hi, I'm Logan Browning and this is how I do my wash and style. So wash and style, we love these. I have no idea what hair type I have. I have looser curls, kinkier curls. It really depends on what part of the map of my head you're on. Like the middle, the crown of my hair is a bit uh, coarser, so I have to pay a lot of attention there. And then around the, the nape of my neck and my hairline is much looser of a curl. I feel like it's more common to have the looser pattern more in the center of your head and it's a little bit more tighter around the edges. Let me know if I'm wrong. Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder. Now, this is not a cleanser. This is not a conditioner. This is a detangler. Oh. Finger detangle. I promise it's a lot easier, less time consuming than you think. And then I use a lot of different shampoos and conditioners, but Today I used this Safira Define Shampoo. As long as it doesn't have a sulfate, I'll use it. Sis has been watching curly hair videos on YouTube. You can tell she's against the sulfate. She's talking about the finger detangling, the sectioning the hair. And that's when you wash everything out. That's when you wash out, or when I wash out, the cleanser and the pre-cleanse. Oh, okay. I wasn't quite sure what the Diva Curl product was that she was using because she said it's not a cleanser or a conditioner, but she uses it to detangle. Um, and I wasn't sure what stage in her wash she uses that. Well, she's just now made it clear that that is a pre-poo. It's like a pre-wash product. I love Olaplex. Um, I will take some of this conditioner, run it through my hair, let it sit for a very short period of time and rinse it. But the reason I don't let this one sit in for too long is because I, oh my gosh, this is how much I use this. I need to go get some more. Okay, this is interesting. She's using two conditioners. She's just gonna explain what this deeper project product and is. And it's a matcha butter conditioning mask. It's a conditioning mask. So she's using the Olaplex conditioner and then following that up with a deep conditioner from Diva Curl. I personally don't think that that's necessary at all, especially because the Olaplex product that she used wasn't like the active bonding treatment either. It was literally just a conditioner. And I've used those Olaplex conditioners and personally with Olaplex, I feel like the best treatment that they have is like the number three. I believe it's the number three bonding treatment. And I find that their shampoos and conditioners are actually just like, just regular shampoos and conditioners and the conditioners actually contain silicones as well and their oil they have like this shine oil and it's just pure silicone i personally would only be using olaplex for the bonding treatment and i really can't see any benefit to adding it before another conditioning treatment i feel like it's a pretty expensive product that you don't really need to be using in between your routine you're really supposed to leave this in as like a once every blue moon treatment but I use it as my conditioner and I think it's fine. So I leave that in for a bit. I, when I'm feeling lazy, I will use Tracy Ellis Ross's incredible pattern detangling brush. I love this so much because it has a hook, well, a hole for a hook, and I can hang it in my shower. I also Another thing guys, if you've used pattern, let me know how it is. I really want to use it. That brush looks really good it looks like it has that soft kind of matte texture which i really like on brushes and anything 
also use her clip, which I'm going to take down now so we can get started. All right, so this is my hair freshly washed, freshly conditioned. My routine's changed a little bit. So I cut my hair, oh my God, when did I cut my hair? 2019? Wow. Most important product. Yes. Water. Gotta have water. My hair is gonna get dry as we go on. It's already starting to do that. So I keep water on deck. And I actually like the travel size. I literally size. have one with me like just all the time like when I'm filming. And this mist. Y'all, okay, drag me if you want. I still use Diva Curl. I know the whole internet was like, Diva Curl, you shouldn't use it anymore. Blah. This is how I know that she watches curly hair YouTube. I've been here for a long time. I've been here since like 2015 or something making curly hair videos. And it still surprises me that it's so mainstream and that there's like celebrities, no, all of like everything that we were talking about. I guess it's like this whole evolution. Now everyone has this curly hair education and everyone can take care of their hair and it's great. I like to try to use um, all of the same line of products. I feel like products are meant to work together. This is one thing that the curl doctor Shai taught me. A couple of things, make sure that your product, the first ingredient is water. Ooh, um, big one. You gotta be checking your ingredients. You do it to the foods you eat, you do it to the stuff you put in your hair and on your face and on your body. She just mentioned her face and I gotta say, I really want a skincare routine for her because her skin looks flawless. Like, it's literally flawless. She doesn't have a line, a pore, a blemish. There's nothing there. Like, it's actually flawless and I need to see a routine. <laughs> I'm gonna start with super cream. Believe in Archangel Gel. This is my magic potion. You'll see how I use them. I start from the top to the back. I'm just gonna pin this out of the way for one sec mm -hmm. so I can. What's she saying? The top of my hair, like I said, it's getting dry. So that's when this water is gonna come into play because you wanna start with water before you put your products on. And I'm saying you, but I really mean me. This is what I do. She literally does what I do. So like whenever I'm making a curly hair video or curly hair styles, routine, anything, I'm always saying like you, like you're gonna wanna do this, you're gonna wanna do that. Um, and then we do this. I don't know, it feels like community, you know? She gets it. She gets it. She could be a she could be a YouTuber if she wanted to. Obviously, she's an actress. I think she probably likes being an actress. I don't think she wants to be a YouTuber, but she could be. She's really good at it. Just start going in and wetting my hair. And the point that I am gonna know that it's wet enough is when I can run my fingers through mm -hmm. it because I've detangled in the shower. So once this is all wet again. It's gonna look shinier and I'll be able to run my fingers through it just like this. So 100% stand by that. Wetting your hair can make it so much easier to brush, detangle. If you haven't already detangled your hair, don't try to just start detangling it just by making it wet. But if you have already detangled your hair and now you wanna style it, you can help your hair to be more detangled again by wetting it again. Does that make sense? That was a really poor explanation, but please, let me know. I'm gonna split this in half. I don't really part my hair uh, with a comb or anything. I just kind of pull it apart because, you know, curly hair just needs to do its thing. You don't wanna force it. So step one, water. Step two, super cream. And I use enough to get it okay. on my hands. I focus this on the ends. The super cream is just adding moisture back into my hair. So she's using this Diva Curl, uh, this bundle. So she's got the uh, the super cream, I think it was called, and then the Bee Leave-In, and then the Archangel Gel. It's a lot of products, honestly. But she says it works really well for her. And like she said in the video, you just gotta use what works for you. And that's completely true. I'm just wondering if she could maybe just cut one of these products out, because a lot of people are gonna see this video and they're gonna go out and buy all of these products because it works for her and they want something that works for them. But not everyone has got all this money to be spending on tons and tons of curly hair products. And they have got crazy expensive 
in the last few years like lots of industries kind of saw this big boom this big rise in curly hair care and this discussion that we were having around it and they realized that they could whack the prices up a lot and also you know when they're spending time developing these great products for us it does put the price up so I want to say that these prices can be justified sometimes however it doesn't mean that you need to buy everything it doesn't mean that you need to use everything you can do a great curly hair routine using three products a shampoo a conditioner and a styling product you could just use three you don't have to be using ten just make sure everyone's aware and make sure nobody's kind of wasting their money on stuff that they don't need to use I personally can't speak for the diva gold products because I haven't used them so I don't know if you would have to be using all three but I know for a fact that there are great products out there that work great on their own or you know combined with just two so you just use two products instead of three maybe you guys can drop in the comment section what you use and if you want to see what I use then I've got tons of videos on my channel that you can check out um, so the same amount of the huh? leave-in I just comb that through my hair and the top of my hair is a little bit more of a problem area I don't, I'm sorry hair I don't mean that you're not a problem but <laughs> It requires a little bit more product. So this is again, believe in. Just putting a bit more of that in my hair. Oh, we this want is juicy, a juicy curls. And I'm telling you, the only reason I can run my fingers through my hair is because I detangled in the shower. When it comes to curly hair, you have to go step by step. Every step is important. And if you skip one in your routine, you'll see it later. So and the other thing I learned about my curly hair is that, you know. Wash and go is a myth. That's why I call this my wash and style because you can't just wash your hair, throw some product in it, and then leave the house and you're ready. You gotta take time and put. She had me shook there for a second when she said wash and go is a myth. But I see what she's saying. It's more of a wash and style, not just wash. You're not done when you're when it's washed. That's not. You're not done. <laughs> you gotta style it. Okay, I get I get what she's saying. So the last step is this Diva Curl Archangel. The same thing, but the final step is taking my Denman brush and just going through. I think I need to do a little bit of finger coiling in the front just to make sure these curls are popping. So I'll just take a piece, you see, run my fingers around them. I used to do this a lot more when I had a proper bang and I wanted the front of my hair See, right now she's to finger be nice coiling. and defined. Um, but now I just kind of do it loosely. And I so never I really got into coiling. finger coiling. It's never really been something I've done, but now I kind of see a lot of people actually do do this. So I have hair. maybe I'll time. try it. We okay. will add it to my routine. So I don't want to disturb She's never really done it too much. And I know I'm moving really fast for you guys because I want you to see everything, but So right now she's just applying all of that product all through her hair and she is meticulous by the way. She is actually doing it in sections which is something I I've always been rubbish at doing. I never incredible. actually follow through. I actually never bother sectioning my hair and I should because I end up with areas of my hair that don't have product on and they look like frizzy. They don't like fit in with the rest of my hair. She's not going to have that problem because she's she's doing it right. <laughs> This whole process is also going to be really misleading when you find out that uh, this is all just the prep. Like She just said that this is just the prep? She just said that this is just the prep? What more could that be? When I show you how much time I really put into this, you're going to be like, you deserve for your fro to look that good, girl. It's the final countdown. Last section, best section. She has the time. She has the time today. So now that all of my hair has product on it and has set for a little bit, we're gonna take all the clips down. Um, so I start from back to front. And yes, I even clip up that last section because I just feel like you know, what you do to one part of your hair, you gotta do to all of them. Gently unravel these little twists that have formed and you can see how juicy and rich 
my curls. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks well, good. All the sections down. Hair has product in it. What I do is I will take some kind of hair turban okay. with a microfiber towel texture on the inside, and I flip my hair. And uh, it's called plopping, basically what I'm gonna do. Um, you can find it elsewhere on the internet. Uh, you basically, you don't wrap your hair in the end of the towel. I'm gonna flip my hair and then push it up. So basically all my hair is gonna be sitting on the top of my head. And then so she's talking about plopping right now. Plopping is great, I love plopping. I actually plopped for my uh, curly hair routine and I got some great popping curls. The front of my curls, by the way, are actually uh, like wand curls. So don't go thinking that that's my natural curls, please. Um, but yeah, like the ends and everything, I would like to say it's from plopping. Plopping is really good. It's great for curly hair. Hand, and I just push my curls up like this. And when I push them up, you see that motion? That's where they're gonna stay. And then I do a little, oh, we're okay that that guy is hanging out. And I'll just come up. I'll leave this for about 30 minutes. Um, I'll take it down and uh, later I will take my Dyson diffuser. Isn't that cool? It's magnetic. She has a white one. And I'll dry my hair upside down. The reason I do this step first is it gets rid of some of the excess moisture. You saw how much water and product I put in my hair. 100% agree about the plopping with the turban, waiting for your hair to kind of lose some of that moisture because otherwise you're going to be drying all of that moisture out of your hair purely with the hair dryer, which is just an unnecessary amount of heat. And it's going to take a really long time to dry your hair from literally start to finish using only the hair dryer. So if you have time, it's a great idea to plop first or I don't know, air dry for a little while. I prefer plopping. Um, I usually plop for about an hour and it gets my hair so that my hair is only about 70% wet and then I diffuse until my hair is only about 10 or 20% wet and then I'll just air dry the rest. And that's just a really great way to get your hair dry without letting it get frizzy, without having wet hair for too long and without putting too much heat on it. So yeah, 100% agree. So I just wanted to come back and show you what my Here hair looks she like is. once it's dry and fluffed out. Yeah. <laughs> See? It looks amazing. Yeah. I feel great. Uh, you look thank you great. so much for hanging out with me. It has been a pleasure to show you how I do my wash and style. I hope you enjoyed it. So that was, I literally can't fault that video. I wouldn't want to fault a video. There's not that much more for me to add. The only thing I would say is that if you are trying to follow that routine, you probably could cut out some of those products that she's using. I'd say you probably don't need that Olaplex product that she was using, and you probably don't need that many styling products. Maybe the Diva Curl bundle comes so that you have to use all three, but there are other products out there where you really could just use one. So I don't know, it's up to you guys. Literally everything absolutely perfect. I absolutely agree with everything she said. I know there's probably some of you guys watching who maybe don't agree, but me personally, I agree with so much of what she said. I feel like she is a regular on curly hair YouTube, if that's even a thing. And yeah, she just seems like someone who's definitely a perfectionist and really follows the steps and gets a great result. I'm definitely a bit more lazy with mine. So I've linked Logan Browning's video with Harper's Bazaar in the description box if you wanna go over and watch that video. And if you liked my reaction, then please thumbs up the video if you haven't already. And leave me a comment telling me that you like reaction videos because otherwise, I don't know and I won't make another one of these, especially because they get demonetized. Maybe I'll make some other videos that I could actually monetize. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. I know it's so annoying to ask, but I am a YouTuber and you know, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> also turn on your notifications so you don't miss my future videos. Give me an Instagram, TikTok, and I just hope that you have an amazing day. I hope this video was helpful and informative and a little bit entertaining. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me today because I always enjoy hanging out with you. That is everything from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!